One of the best Optifine settings for Minecraft 1.21. Well, in this video, we're going to show you those settings. Now, I am assuming you already have Optifine installed. If not, it's the second link down below that takes you here. This is our in-depth guide, text format, video format for getting Optifine 1.21.1. It covers everything you need to know from start to finish, and these settings will work in 1.21 or 1.21.1, depending on which version of Optifine you're using, so don't worry about that. But let's go ahead and minimize our browser and actually get started here in the Minecraft launch. Launcher. That's because there's some settings we want to change here about Optifine before even getting in game and specifically about Minecraft itself But it can help performance a lot. So when you're in the Minecraft launcher go up to installations now if Optifine is installed You'll most likely have an Optifine installation here you can go ahead and toggle modded if not and there it is and Then click the three dots over here and click on edit now, in this, you can set your resolution. Technically, the lower your resolution, the better performance you will get out of Minecraft. But generally, you want something around, you know, 1080p, 1920 by 1080, something like that, in order to get good performance and still actually be able to see what's going on. But technically, 600 or 800 by 600 is going to be the best FPS, even though you will barely be able to see anything. Then go ahead and click more options here, and this is going to open up some stuff that we can change, specifically our RAM. As you can see, we have XMX2G here. If we change this to XMX, for example, 6G or 4G, 6G would be 6 gigs of RAM, 4G would be 4 gigs of RAM. Never allocate more than half of the RAM you have on your computer to Minecraft, so if you had 8 gigs of RAM, you would do 4 gigs to Minecraft, and if you had like 16, you could do 8 gigs, but generally with Optifine, you're good to just go ahead and go 4 gigs of RAM, which means you would change this at the beginning to XMX. 4G, right like so. Then go ahead and click save, and now play Minecraft using your Optifine installation. While Minecraft's opening with Optifine, how about from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour ddos in Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server, and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out, so go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, and start your Minecraft server the same simple way. So here we are, Minecraft is open with Optifine installed. First things first, we want to make sure we go to options and turn off any resource packs. If you have a resource pack over here, go ahead and disable it. That is going to make sure that that's not having any effect on your performance. You can always add resource packs back later if you're happy with your performance once Optifine is set up. There are resource packs that claim to make Minecraft perform better. Generally, that's actually not the case because look at this. There's no way to move default out. So no matter what, you're adding something over the default resource pack, which is going to load. So just go ahead and make sure nothing's in selected. Like I said, you can add your resource pack back later if you're getting good performance once this is all done in the default resource pack. Now we want to go into video settings and our options. Before we start configuring that though, I'm going to configure this like literally you have the worst computer in the world. You can then come in here and tweak these settings. One of the cool things about Optifine is if you hover over something, you can see what it does. As you can see, faster is the highest FPS, and slower and slowest are lower FPSs, kind of walking their way down the line, right? So the faster it is, the higher the FPS, the slower it is, the slower the FPS is going to be. And we're going to go ahead and set everything up to get the most FPS possible. You can also go ahead and do a like starting value if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this server here on Simple Game Hosting, and we will be able to see what our starting value is. And then if you want to do that, go ahead and get your starting value and then post your final value once you've gotten everything configured. To do that, go ahead and once you're in game, press F3 on your keyboard. Then in the top left, you'll see your FPS. One number is average and one number is your lowest FPS. So that's kind of what you can look at there. 131 is going to be, I believe, the average and then the lowest will be like around 90 in this case. So feel free to run around, get a good number there, and then we can see what things are looking like after Optifine's configured. Let's jump back to the Minecraft main menu. You, options and video settings to get started we're going to go ahead and turn graphics to fast if you want to update these in the like later on you can do that right for example i'm going to turn the render distance all the way down to two which is pretty unplayable i agree but we can always boost that up to eight if you're not getting any lag once this is all said and done but when i first started playing minecraft i had a horrible laptop and i played on two render distance because i wanted to play the game and that's what allowed me to do it simulation distance we'll go ahead and turn that all the way down to five chunks as well smooth lighting we will turn off smooth lighting level we will turn off frame rate we want to actually make this max. If you limit your frame rate, you would only get, for example, 60 FPS in this case would be your max. If you upped it to 120, that would be your max FPS. You wouldn't ever get any more, even if your computer could. So if we go ahead and unlimited FPS, things are looking really
really good there, and that's what will allow us to get as most FPS as possible. GUI scale really doesn't affect performance much. Entity shadows will turn those off. Dynamic FOV doesn't determine or really change performance much. And then dynamic lights, you want to make sure those are set off. Shaders, you want to make sure any shader packs are off by making sure the off is selected up here at the top. If you hadn't played with Optifine with shaders before, it'll be off by default. But shaders are one of the biggest detriments when it comes to use getting low FPS with Optifine. These settings can help with shaders as well, but something worth noting with shaders, for example, if we select complementary shaders here, they have their own settings. This video is not going to go over them specifically, but if we go in the bottom right here, we have shader options, and we could set this if we wanted to, to potato quality or very low quality, and that means it's going to be designed for lower end PCs. So if you are lagging with shaders, make sure you set your shader profile and shader options specifically for your computer, very low in this case, or a potato low end PC. However, not every shader pack will have a profile, so if yours doesn't, maybe find another one that does, or try to set things up specifically by going into each setting and, you know, changing it to what you think it would, you know, give the best performance with. Let me go ahead and click done there. Like I said, shaders off, though, is going to provide the most FPS, which is what we're going with here. Click done there, and now we want to go into quality. In here, we generally want to turn everything all the way off or down as far as we can, or we want to set it to fastest. So in this case, we're going to have mini map or mid map levels off, endoscopic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, emissive textures, we want to turn those off. We also want to turn off random entities, and then we'll also turn off better grass, better snow, custom fonts, custom colors, natural textures will be turned off, connected textures will be set to off as well. Custom sky off, custom GUIs off, and you guessed it, the rest of this is going to be off, off, and finally we can turn distortion effects off as well. So with that, everything is pretty much turned off on this page. Yes, actually everything is turned off on this page. You can turn on custom GUIs, for example, or custom items, especially if you're using a texture pack, you might need to turn those on. But if you want the most FPS, we want to make sure those are turned off. Click done, and then we can go ahead to details. Same thing here. If you can turn it to off, we want to do that. Otherwise, you want to set it to fast, for example, in the case of clouds and trees. Rain and snow, you can turn this off. I actually like it, so I'm going to set it to fast. Cloud height, we can go ahead and turn those off. Sky, on or off. Again, I like the sky. It does provide a bit more FPS. Same thing with the stars, but not a ton, so I'm going to leave those on. Same thing with the sun and moon, but... From there, we can go ahead and turn off capes. We can set fog to off. Fog start doesn't matter because fog is off. View bobbing actually doesn't affect FPS. Neither does held item tool temps. Swap color does though, so you want to turn those off. And then we want to go ahead and set the vignette to fast. Alternative blocks, turn those off. And at the distance, turn that all the way down to 50%. And biome blend, turn that off. When you click done, we can now move on to performance. This is really cool because this is one of the best ways and what really makes Optifine be able to increase your FPS. For example, if we turn render regions, fast math, fast render on. We also want to turn smart animations on and we want to turn smooth FPS on normally. Now, I'm going for the max FPS. I'd love to see over a thousand FPS with this. So because of that, I'm going to leave this off. If you turn smooth FPS on, you will have a better experience. Most of the time you should turn that on. It might even actually give you a lower FPS number, but a way better playing experience. Like I said, though, I'm going to leave that off in this case because I want to see the highest number that we can get. Same thing with smooth world. We want to go ahead and normally turn that on. I'm actually going to turn it off in this specific case as we're trying to get F max FPS. But again, you want to turn smooth FPS and smooth world on. Chunk updates will set to 1. Dynamic updates, we'll go ahead and turn that on. Lazy chunk loading, we want to go ahead and turn that on as well. And then chunk builder is actually one that we're going to leave up to you. Now, if we see here, thread is going to update all chunks in the background. Semi-blocking, update player affected chunks instantly. Fully blocking, update all nearby chunks instantly. And then it's worth noting that those threaded updates where all chunks are in the background may have holes in the terrain and things like that, whereas fully blocking may have lag spikes. So it's kind of a trade-off here. I would probably suggest semi-blocking here, but if you're noticing a lot of holes in your chunks or something like that, you could obviously change it to the full blocking, but we'll go ahead and do semi here. Then we want to go to animations. This one's the easiest of them all. Turn or just click the all off button here. Everything's turned off. Click done and you are well done with that page. Lastly on other, nothing here really affects FPS other than weather, which does increase FPS a bit, but I actually like the weather. If you're noticing a lot of lag and rain though, make sure you go ahead and turn weather off. And then full screen. If you're playing Minecraft full screen, it will use more FPS. It will lag more than if you're playing it in a windowed mode. So taking things out of full screen can help. 
Lastly, we have autosave. If you're noticing lag every six minutes in this case, but whenever Minecraft autosaves, turning this up can help. However, know that anything that happens before an autosave could be lost. So if you have things happening in between autosaves, you may lose 24 minutes of stuff here. For me, I don't want to lose 24 minutes of work in Minecraft. I would be okay with losing about five minutes, so we'll go ahead and set this to six minutes in this case. There you have it. That's kind of a complete overview of everything with Optifine. So now we can go ahead and click done and we have our Optifine settings set up. If we jump into multiplayer here, we will be able to go ahead and join that server again and get another FPS number. We were around, I think it was something around 80 on the low end, maybe 130, maybe even 180 on the high end. But now if we hit F3, we'll be able to see we are getting 600 FPS, 700 FPS on the high end, 1000 FPS on the high end now that I've walked around and some chunks have loaded in. And then on that low end FPS, it's around 300. So like I said, I wanted to get over a thousand FPS. We were able to achieve it, which is amazing to see. What's your FPS increase? Let us know in the description down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.